Earlier today, another great group on hand for Kent Herbeck's LA ALS Awareness pregame party right here at Target Field. The local ALS chapter founded by the Twins Great has always been very, very close to his heart, heart and its event that is going on still here at Target Field. We welcome you back now to Twins Live. Presented by CenturyLink, and we've got two very special guests that we're happy to have here. Jen Jelly, the uh, executive director of the ALS chapter here in Minnesota and South and North Dakota, and Twins legend Kent Herbeck. And this is, <laughs> all, you are a Twins legend. I don't know about a legend, I'm, I'm here. Well, you're a legend to me and a lot of people here <laughs> okay. today. So. Absolutely. Let, let's start off, Kent, with you and, and talk about, for those who might not know, why you are so close to this ALS awareness area and also what Carrier has done to help this local chapter. Well, Tom, back in 1982, actually 1981, my father was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, a um, long time ago. And uh, right when I was making it to the big leagues, I, made it, I, I, I found out my father in May of 81, was diagnosed with ALS in uh, August of 81. I got called up to the big leagues. So I'm kind of in the <laughs> decision there what's going on with my dad dying from ALS and me making the big leagues. So uh, he ended up passing away in 1982. My first game I played in the big leagues was at Yankee Stadium playing first base where Lou Gehrig played. So it was, you know, pretty right. ironic stuff that was going on. And, and there's all these guys on the team now and, and, and when I was playing, you have to pick a charity. You want to pick a charity to, to do something. And ALS was uh, a no-brainer for me. And I've been working on trying to find a cure since then. And uh, the folks from Carrier have jumped on and done a fantastic job with donating money and doing all kinds of stuff. And, and now we got Jenny running the show at, uh, at, at the ALS Association and, and uh, just a bunch of great people raising a lot of money for ALS. Jen, let me ask you, yeah. for, for those who don't know or understand what ALS is, quickly, can you give us an idea? Yep, so ALS is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Easier to say ALS. And it's a degenerative disease of the central nervous system. So essentially, your brain's sending messages to your muscles to work, but the messages aren't getting there because those the neurons that are carrying them die. So progressively, your muscles stop working over time, and you lose that function. So it's a very debilitating disease that um, progresses pretty quickly. I'd like to know how people can get involved who are interested in helping out. I know you have a couple big events coming up that we're going to show on our screen as well. <laughs> We got a big fishing tournament coming up that we've yep. been doing. Is it 18th year? Um, yes. A 18th year that we've done a fishing t tournament up in Duluth. I, I had started a golf tournament that we ran for 16 years, which we no longer have. We do a snowmobile ride in Duluth that raised uh, 700 or 800. $800,000. 800,000 wow. dollars last year in a three-day snowmobile ride, which we're calling the biggest fundraising snowmobile ride in the world. Correct. And uh, so we're, we're raising some serious funds. The big thing is to. We need to find a cure. And uh, Dave St. Peter has told me I was going to have a party at the Dome, but since they're tearing that down, we're having a party here at Target Field. We find a cure for ALS. Always successful. So the walleye fishing tournament is coming up on June 1st. So people can go to KohlerToyotaWalleye.com um, up at Island Lake in Duluth. Jenna and Kent, thank you so much for stopping Thanks, by and continuing to work towards a, a cause that a lot of us feel very strongly about. Thank you Thanks again. so much for having us. Our you manager bet. helps out a lot, too. Uh, he loves the snowmobile ride, so he's been yes, there with he us. Does. I'm not shocked to hear that for some <laughs> reason. Thank you very much.